2012, the Olympics were in London, and that year our holiday Bible week had an Olympic theme, Champions at Heart, and today we have our own version of the Olympics. So let's get started. In lane one, we have Micah McCann. Woohoo! In lane two, Woo! we have Eliza McCann. Woo! And in lane three, we have Ali Mae McCann. Woo! Let's go. Three, two, one. Go, go, go! Run, 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 Micah! Run, Micah, run! run. Keep running, that's the girl. Keep running, Micah, come on! Yeah! At our Champions at Heart Holiday Bible Week, we heard that God's people, the Israelites, were getting ready to fight an enemy army. David's brothers were soldiers, and they were camped with King Saul and the one show soldiers on one hill. The enemy army were on another hill across the valley. The enemy army had a soldier named Goliath. Goliath was very big, very strong, and very tall. He was a giant. Every day, Goliath would shout mean things at King Saul and the cowards, Israelites. Cowards! Then he would say, Choose one person to fight against me. If they win, I will serve them. If I win, you will serve me. King Saul and his men were used fighting together, and Goliath was so big that no one wanted to fight Goliath by himself. One day, David came to the camp to bring his brothers some food. David heard the giant yelling. David was very angry because of all the mean things Goliath was saying about God and the Israelites. David couldn't understand why no one would fight Goliath. David knew that God was stronger than the giant and David knew that God would help the Israelites win. One of the soldiers told King Saul what David was saying. So King Saul sent for David. When David arrived, he told King Saul, I will fight Goliath. King Saul said he couldn't, as he was just a boy. But David answered that while he was taking care of his father's sheep, he had killed a lion and killed a bear, and that God had helped him to protect the sheep, and he would also help him to fight the giant. Saul wanted David to wear his armour and use his sword, but they were very heavy. King Saul said, Go and the Lord be with you. David went to the stream. He chose five smooth stones to use with his sling and he was ready to fight. When Goliath saw David, he was angry. He was expecting King Saul's strongest, biggest soldier. Not a young man without even a sword, just a sling. He yelled. You sent a boy? How can you be so disrespectful? Do you not know who I am? I am Goliath, King of the Philistines. I am going to kill you. David replied that he came in the name of the Lord God Almighty. And as the giant moved towards him, David ran put a stone in his sling and shot at the giant. The stone struck Goliath in the forehead. Goliath fell down and died. David cut off the head. The enemy army saw what happened and they were afraid. They ran away and King Saul and his army chased them and killed them all. David trusted God to help him and God used David to help him save the Israelites from the enemy army. We can admire David. He was very brave but we need to remember that it was God who enabled him to overcome Goliath and that same God is with us today. When we trust in him he will enable us to overcome our giants as well. And you may be facing battles of being angry with this virus that's restricting you. You may be afraid or sad or worried. Put your confidence and your trust in God instead of trusting your own abilities to cope. Have faith and walk in the boldness and confidence that comes from God. The situation that you're facing today may seem impossible, but it's not impossible for God.
I love today's Bible verse. It's found in 1 Corinthians 15, 57. And it says, but thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So as we make our way into the new week, let's remember that our God is bigger than any problem that we face. And he will give us the victory. I believe it. And I'm praying that you do too. So let's go to our challenge for the week, boys and girls. Okay, so, ooh. all right, today's challenge. I want you to have a family sports day and don't forget you need prizes. I want you to learn and recite today's Bible verse. It's found again in 1 Corinthians 15, 57. Or you could draw me a picture of David and Goliath. Show me your best Olympic dance moves to run with me or never be shaken. Or read a favourite section of today's Bible story found in 1 Samuel 17. And just another wee reminder of today's Bible verse, boys and girls, because it really is a good one. 1 Corinthians 15, 57. But thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Have a good week, boys and girls. I'm thinking of praying for you.